Now listen, Rick. Before I get involved working with you, I need to know everything from the start. Well, shit. You can't argue with that. Well then, it all started five years ago when I flew in from Canada. I only really knew one person in Los Santos. Well, I met him online. He said he could get me some work for me. His name was Lamar. What that shit do, you big old pimp, you? <laughs> I see you up in this motherfucker now, huh? That's what I'm talking about. Come here, holler at your boy. Man, it's good to finally meet you, man. After all that time on Life Invaders, man, we friends in real life now, huh? Look at you, dude. Like, smaller than you look in your picture, but... Oh, fuck it, it don't matter. Hey, I heard you wasn't a big talker, right? But I said, you just probably need to get settled in. Got that jet lag, you know? So I got a little gift for you. Welcome to Los Santos. Untraceable. You gotta love that. Who your partner is, pimp? Who your partner is? <laughs> man, dog, I'm glad you're here, man. It's all kinds of opportunities in Los Santos. I mean, that's if you got the nuts to pull them off. And don't even trip, man. Your boy know people all over the city. Like the boy Hal. He is like hands down the best mechanic in town. Or the other boy Simeon, man. He's literally the best bullshit artist in town. Or we can go fuck with the homie G. Or any of the homies from family for that matter. You straight. Matter of fact, we gonna fall through on Hal right now and see if we can get us a race, you know? There I was, after all this time, I was finally in Los Santos. The night at my you side and my boy Lamar with his hookups, I was ready for anything. First, he wanted to head down to meet up with Hal and try to get a race going. Man, you's an uncoordinated motherfucker. Yeah, dawg. This the spot right here. Go post up right there real quick while I make this call. We're gonna get you a car or something to race in or stare at the back of my shit in. Cause you're gonna eat my dust, punk. <laughs> Shay Shay. So that's what we did. We raced. Yeah, homie, I'm about to go nice and slow for your bitch ass. Ha! See you later, homie. After I won the race, he had a real job for me. Yes. Yeah. Man, if you don't get off my phone with this bullshit. Fuck. Man, some people are so clean. Hey, what that shit do? You trying to make some cheese? My boy Gerald G, he looking for somebody low-key right now. And to be 1,000 with you, I'm thinking you. Look, it's a big exchange of merchandise going down. The Vagos and the Ball Eaters and squash they little, uh, cultural differences or what the fuck ever anyway why don't you slide down there and see if you can shake up the free market economy a little bit and uh, get that cheese 
Hey, I'm gonna text you the boy G address. Don't even trip. He's straight. That's my dog. You know we got you. Thing is, I didn't know it at the time, but this was the reason why the Ballas and I don't get along so well. I guess the guy I capped, the one that had the goods, turns out he was some sort of gang boss or some shit. Here. What's up, dog? How you doing? Well, goddamn you, anti-social motherfucker, you gonna speak? Hey. See? I told you. Y'all gonna get along. Great. Y'all can get to take this shit on the road. How your little ventriloquist act going on? Maybe you can stick your hand up his ass. Give him the dough. Yeah. All right. Here. It's right. Don't bother counting it. If you get anything else interesting, bring it my way. <laughs> yeah, what I tell you, what I tell you, motherfucker, we like you. And now you got you some bread, what you need to do is go get you some motherfucking gear, because you bummy as fuck. You can't be walking around with me looking like that. You need to better representate yourself, you know what I'm talking about? Hey, G, don't get lost, fool. Come on, man, tear that shit off, man. I need my commission, G. You hear me, dog? I need my commission, nigga. So, I took his advice man. and got some new wear. Lamar also let me borrow his car to go pick up my grandma's car. He got all banged up. His buddy Simeon said he could also spot me the cash to fix up the car. Or so I thought. Simeon said he'd spot you. Whatever you want, he'll pick up the tab this one time. My boy, <laughs> it is your uncle, Simeon. 
Yes, I know we are not really a family. <laughs> the modifications on the car, they are a present. A gift from me to you. And like all gifts, they are freely given. Although, you are now forever in my debt. <laughs> oh, and bearing that in mind at all times, perhaps I will text you with the occasional favor for me. Huh? Listen, eventually after many years of hard work, you too can afford a nasty lockup in which to keep your classily modified and unique vehicles. <laughs> but in the meantime, just don't get robbed, okay? Okay. Yes. I see you soon. I worked for that son of a bitch for four years. Four fucking years. Until one day, the day I went to the fucking strip club. Are you gonna get to the point or what? I'm, I'm getting to the point, just fucking listen there. You said you wanted to know everything, so I'm gonna fucking tell you everything, alright? So sit back, listen, and shut the fuck up. Turns out, though, the bouncer up front was her boyfriend. And one of the strippers probably told him what was going on in the back. So I guess he went to go intervene, but I was already on my way out. So, we fought. I ended up knocking him out. That's when I found out the strip club was under bala protection. And when they heard it was me there, they saw their chance to take me out. So they sent everyone. One, two, three, four!
After that, I knew I had to get out of town. Grandma's car was halfway across town, so I made do with some poor fool's hybrid. Town, I went to have a cold, stiff fucking drink. Ah, Blaine County. The only place where bars are open at 6 a.m. and full of company. I guess I had about 10 too many to drink because the next thing I know I woke up in the middle of the desert. Turns out it was the next fucking day. I had a cash, ammo, and no car. I had to make cash fast. When I used to work for Simeon, I met an old fuck named Cecil. He owed me a favor, so he agreed to give me his old 12 gauge. And I went across town to the quickie. Well, you both know the rest. So, Jack, what's your story? Get on the ground! We're resisting! Coppers is filmed on location with the men and women of the Los Santos and Blaine County Police Force. All suspects are considered innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Out here in the county, things have been pretty quiet over the past few weeks. Other than that those darn degenerate jaywalkers, we had to start handing out parking tickets to pass the time. Looks like I have to head out to a car accident. I was gonna get my hair done, but whatever. Guess that screws up my day. <laughs> Sir? Sir, get your ass back here. I did nothing. Turn your ass around. So you know why I brought you back here? Nope, not a clue. Well, that truck there is under your name, and you were fleeing the scene. I was going for a walk. That's it? Sir, you're going to jail for involuntary manslaughter, driving while under the influence, reckless driving, resisting arrest, you might want to try cuddling up to Bubba. You're going to be there for a while. Hey, I like bacon. Why don't you get back here and let me eat you up? I can really show you how to use these cups. 
Aww, why are you giving me the silent treatment? I love women in a uniform. So I just got transferred here to Blaine County. Been here for about three weeks now, but I'm really gonna miss the city. They told me down at the station I replaced some hillbilly cop because they want to make things a bit more serious out here with all the bikers now. Look at this guy here. Obviously he's high out of his mind. He's got something under his jacket though. He just went into the store. I better go over and check it out. <laughs> 